When it comes to UFO sightings, the classic saucer shape from the 1950s and 60s has long become passe, and instead it's often bright orbs and cylindrical objects which are reported more and more frequently. Recently, however, we've been adding another shape to that list, triangles. But why, and what does it mean? Well, maybe this next video can shed some light. November, 2021. A passenger on a train speeding through the Italian countryside notices something strange outside his window and starts recording. Three orange lights in a triangular formation floating in the air above the horizon. Let's zoom in. The lights not only appear to be orbs, but they're also glowing. The video is uploaded to social media and quickly becomes a sensation. A lot of the comments on the video obviously linked this light pattern to the typical triangular UFO, making claims that this was some sort of alien spacecraft. Journalist MJ Benaya says that kind of reaction shouldn't be surprising. Italy has a fairly rich UFO history. In the early 1950s, uh, an entire soccer game was actually stopped in the city of Florence when a crowd of 10,000 people in the stadium looked up and saw a handful of strange oval-shaped UFOs fly over them. Even before then, a UFO crash in 1933 allegedly became the catalyst for a secret program led by one of Italy's most notorious figures. Some people believe that Mussolini, the famed Italian dictator, had a secret UFO hunting program. The idea was that in 1933, a UFO crashed in Italy and Mussolini allegedly hired famed radio pioneer Guglielmo Marconi to figure out what this technology was and whether it could be weaponized. The Italian Center for UFO Studies documented almost 10,000 cases over a 50-year period. And we've reported on some of them, including this anomalous event we investigated last year. Could this triangle be something related? We asked for our experts' opinion. We begin with forensic video analyst Michael Primo. Our first question, has the footage been manipulated in any way? The lights appear to be real, at least to my naked eye when analyzing it frame by frame. But what the encoder is saying using macro block analysis is that this information in this green color is different than this information in this green color. So it's a possibility that some use of CGI was added to this recording uh, based on the, the macro block uh, analysis, but no definitive conclusions can be drawn uh, at this time. Acknowledging that red flag, we take the video to astronomer and video effects designer Mark D'Antonio to see if this could be a plane. I don't think that uh, this one here is an aircraft because an airplane light of this brightness would be the landing lights. And airplanes generally have two landing lights, if not just one in some cases, not three. Now, you could say, well, is this a stack of aircraft, one farther from the other, making a logical triangle from this perspective? But these lights look all the same brightness. And if you stack up planes like that, the furthest plane away is going to be more several miles behind the first plane in the lines. So will look a little bit dimmer and smaller than the one in the front. D'Antonio rules out any commercial or military aircraft, but he does believe there is a clue to the mystery in the video. If you also look carefully, when this train is moving, it passes a sign along the way. The sign is being held up by two legs, and this object passes in front of one of those legs. The lights don't disappear when the train passes the sign outside. D'Antonio thinks it's because this mysterious object isn't actually in front of the photographer. I think that this is a light fixture reflected in the window from one of the adjacent train seats. But when we ask science writer Mick West to study the video, he disagrees. I don't think this is a reflection. For one thing, it's the only light being reflected that you can see. If it was a train with lots of people, you would expect to see more. And when the person filming it is moving the camera, you see these bits of dirt on the window move around. But when they're moving around, there's no movement at all uh, with this object, which means that it's, uh, it's not a reflection. By zooming in, Mick sees the lights are not staying in one place. I took the video and I tried stabilizing the lights on the screen so they all stay in exactly the same position. And you can see that it's not like a single solid object. They seem to be moving 
somewhat independently. Another thing that you notice is that the distance between the lights and the tree line gradually decreases. So we have orange objects that appear to be slowly drifting down. West believes there's an orange light that fits the bill, military flares. They're attached to little parachutes, so they just basically sink down fairly slowly, and they burn for about a minute or two, and then they'll usually drop. Our verdict, this is a toss-up. We can't explain why the lights don't pass behind the sign, but we can't call it a reflection either. We can't even say for sure it's real. The military flare theory feels right, but our experts aren't unanimous. Until we know more, we have to say this remains unidentified.